Fuck boys. Hey, we need an intro. Uh, Sanger. Oh, I did it last week. It's, it's Jason. Right. Lad, I got us. Don't worry. Cho, take it away, lad. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> one thought, one aim, one destiny. Stay true, don't change. You got the best of me. What's good, baby? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bende Yars. Baby, you already know she also told Sanger. Hey, what's good? He's funny, baby. Let's no, go. It's J5, hey, baby. it's the only podcast for the hood. From the hood. Hey, man, yeah. on today's yeah. episode, man, fuck, bro. I hate this guy, honest to God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I went on TikTok, bro, the this guy showed bro. race, bro. <laughs> go, nah, bro. but hey, honestly, this guy has traveled the world for his mm. profession, man. Bro. There's only, only, there's only a handful of Tongans. Poly- po- Polynesians that do what he does, man. Everyone in the room right now, give a warm welcome to our Tuku. Yes. Let's, oh, let's, let's go, let's go. Welcome, bro. Thanks welcome, for having bro. Thanks for having me. Welcome, welcome, bro. How you feeling, Let's bro? Go. How you good, feeling? Good, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's good, good to keep it. Have you over, bro? Yeah. 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 If you can't, we got some shots for you, all right? Mm. Hopefully, I don't like them, G. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, right. we'll get it cracking. Yeah. All right. Fiji or design? Oh, 100%. Fiji. Three. Oh, Fiji. Okay. Oh. okay. All right. Fiji, all, right. all the way. Mm. TikTok or bigger? TikTok. TikTok? Mm. Yeah, 100%. Okay, 100%. then. All right. Amy Shark or Jay Squeezy? Three. Let's go. First one down, baby. Oh, mm. gee, that's tasty. Yum. <laughs> okay. Uh, UK tour or US tour? Uh, US, US. US? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Drumming or producing music? Oh. Three, two, Shots. one, and drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both shots. Fuck. <laughs> this got milk in it and I'm vegan. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Okay. You good? Course, you good? good. Denar Lewis or Kenyon Brown? Oh. Three, two. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> more shots. Where's the shots? <laughs> we got one we more. We got one more. One more. One more. One more. I'm Mata. I'm Mata. I'm Mata. Oh. Alright, nah, we'll finish it off there, bro. We'll but, are you killing it? What, you had like four shots? Dude. Like, this guy's gonna be throwing hands <laughs> soon. <laughs> this guy's gonna be throwing hands soon. I love you guys. Oh, again, <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, nah. Nah, bro, man, man. You answered a lot of questions. Nah, bro. Fuck, you just came off, you just came off tour, got back two days ago? Yeah. Yes, Fucking sir. weapon, bro. How long have you been doing that, man? How long, um, this whole, just touring in general, not drumming, bro? Since 2017. Mm. Bro, you're mm. a vet in the game now. Yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. Right, bro. What was the what was the feeling? What was the feeling when you what was the feeling when you first um like got your first call up? They're like, fuck, I wanna get you on tour. Do you, do you guys want to know the like beginning beginning or nah like just the just, tour just the, the, just the, the, the like um, first tour. First tour. I don't really think nothing of it to be honest, like because I've never played outside my garage. Mm. I was just like mm. the typical brown poly that did yeah, it for yeah. a hobby. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't really think you can make like money off a pair of sticks like that's mm. crazy mm. to me yeah, yeah. Um, but for the first tour I didn't even know it was a tour mm. yeah. Amy's like oh Joey we're playing at the plot and in my head I'm like the plot oh it's probably a few people yeah, yeah. Mm. gets rolled out here's me thinking there's no one gonna listen to this music yeah. <laughs> coming out I'm the only brown kid on the kids I was like oh <laughs> dude there's heaps of people <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you listen to your music or oh, not? Oh, 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 you need a new drummer, man. Nah, nah it was, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> you are. <awesome. laughs> nah, getting rolled on stage, mums. Because remember, keep in mind, um, being a proud, proud, yeah, being yeah, a brown yeah. poly in like Otara, South Auckland, to be exact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing I knew was either hip hop, rap, reggae. Mm. Anything outside of those genres was like vivid to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to get rolled out on stage knowing that it's another genre outside of what I listen to, I'm mm. like, nah, no Hard, one's gonna bro. listen to this. Hard. Roll out, Cha! I was like, oh, oh shit. They. Yeah. bro, they're the crazy yeah. fans, eh? Yeah. They're like oh, proper bro. crazy the fans. Indie scene is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what's the most people you have performed in front of? Uh probably oh, seventy-five thousand. Yeah. I seen a video on your Insta, bro. 
bro, was it Suncorp Stadium? Did you pack it out? Nah, it what, was, what was the Melbourne Stadium. Whatever MCG? stadium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was that stadium. So, I don't know if you guys remember the bushfires? Mm. Oh, no, yeah. It's big ass. It was the, um, right, yeah. was it, it was a charity show, was it? Yeah, it was the a charity appeal. show. Mm. One of those appeal shows. Bro, At least I'm proud to say it's like the only song that's been actually get to sit next to like the greats like um, Queen. Or you oh, never sure. get to oh bro, I've been on the same stage as Queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Queen was on it. Um Adam Lambert. Yo. Uh, like legend rock stars, bro. And this mm. is like little Tongue and Boy comes out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's probably the biggest, bro. That's um, probably the biggest, bro. That's mad. That's mad. Fucking take us from the start, bro. Like take us back to where this all this whole mm. journey began and like who you are because this is your, probably your first podcast, yeah? Yeah, first 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 proper yeah, podcast. Yeah. Um You've had an interview before though. Yeah, yeah we'll find yeah. News Hub. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Man. But um, Shout out News Hub. I just found out about you guys today. Apparently you guys are pretty <laughs> cool. So shout out you guys. We are gonna need a drink before I tell the story. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I have a drink, bro. As you guys know, I'm brought up in South Auckland, mm. uh Otara. Did my schooling there, everything. Um started off at church, yeah. like seven years old, like a little kid. I remember, I swear to God, me in the, in the lounge. Um, my dad's a pastor. Shout out to the PKs. Hey, oh, I feel man. sorry for you. Shout out. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. PKs, inside joke, okay? <laughs> for the ones that know a PK is pastor's kid. Yeah, I'm a pastor's kid. Uh, yeah. Brought up in a real, what do you call it? Just like Christian family. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Anywho, seven years old. My dad was like, man, no one's showing up to band practice. No one's showing up to uh, youth practices. Yeah, yeah. So in his mind, you know, straight out of the islands. Yeah. Yep, since no one come, I'm gonna train my children. <laughs> seven year old kid in the lounge crying, watching everyone. Imagine being seven, watching everyone play outside eh? and I'm like, gee, this is torture, G. <laughs> oh, what a oh, shit, yeah. grow yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> When I grow up, I'm gonna get behind that. So, just being a young kid at seven, my dad used to be like, "Man, we've got band practice in the lounge." Mm -hmm. He's he's tried to rely on a lot of people to come to yeah, youth. Obviously, yeah. everyone has their own reasons yeah. to come or not coming. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna invest in my time with my kids." Mm. Anyway, me being the youngest of six, mm. ah, sitting there, my dad doesn't even know how to play drums, and he's like, "Keep the beat," and I'm like, "Shut up, you, you don't even know how to play it." <laughs> what do you say, man? <laughs> Just crying, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's playing like hopscotch outside. I was like, must be nice. <laughs> Anywho, a couple of years later, um, primary, obviously end up picking up multiple instruments. Mm. Like I said, being the youngest, um, the many? siblings, oh, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so um, as you guys know, like they get married, they leave the house, yeah. Yeah. and then my dad's like, yep, you're the last one. So I'm like playing drums. The next person that shows up to church doesn't show up to his instrument. One minute I'm on the keys. Yeah, <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what I'm playing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I grew up just around music in general and um, my old man was just like, man, you need to do this because you know, I don't have anyone else doing it. I was like, mm. but what I'll do it? Yeah. 18 years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great ass beer playing the keys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I grew up in a gospel family. Um, my parents were in the industry for multiple years. Mad, bro. Um, the funny thing is, it's crazy. A lot of people in school didn't even know I did music. Mm. Oh, really? I was like, yeah, because imagine doing it at home for like 18 plus years. The last mm. thing you want to do Let's is go to school and be like, miss, oh, yeah, yeah. can I jump on the drums? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, even at school to my last year, it was funny, the music teacher. I was like, I needed five credits. Mm. And I was like, fuck, I don't really want to do this assessment. And it's like, it's a practical assessment you're gonna need to play the drums. And I was like, how many credits? He's like, it's five credits. And in my head, I'm like, fuck, the whole school's gonna find out I can play drums. Yeah. Mm. The drummer's there, the musicians are there, and I'm at the back, think I'm cool. I'm like, nah, they don't need to know I play music. Yeah. Anywho, last, last year of high school, I needed to get these five credits to get my UE, which is a university entrance. Mm. Oh, nice. I was like, sweet, I gotta do it. Everyone, give it up for Joe. I'm in front of the camera, I'm like, my name's Joe Malafi for my NCA level one. I have to play da 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 da. Hey, my Anywho, all my mates are like, ah, you can't even play the drums. Like, hey, since uh, when did he? Uh, Started playing it. It was like, gee, Doc, you don't tell me to play drums. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, gee, my dad's a pastor. <laughs> 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 I can't make choice. Yeah, <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. Anywho, after high school, um, my teachers are like, what the freak? This mm. dude's like actually good. Mm. Got to audition 
to a performing arts school, which is Excel. Nice. Like I said, I didn't want to go. Mm. I just followed my mates. Yeah. I just went to either smoke weed at the back of the class <laughs> or go home, be on the marches. I never really took music seriously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then fast forward to, what do you call it? 2016. Yeah. This is probably like a hectic story, bro. 2016, I landed into Brisbane. Um, I got a good mate, Squeezy. Jay Squeezy, shout out to Jay Squeezy. Shout out to Squeezy, 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 man. Squeezy, Squeezy, Squeezy. Anywho, I land, Squeezy's like, Docs, there's a jam night, um, come through. And I was like, oh, what do they do? Is it music? Yeah, yeah, oh, I don't mind. At the time, I didn't come here for music. Mm. I came here, I was like, I found out that the starting rate was 25 bucks. I was like, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for $2 before. Shout out to Zero, I'm looking for $2. Oh, 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 oh you're bad. No, right, shout out to Zero. I love you guys. Don't care for please. Zero is bad. Zero is bad, bro. <laughs> Anywho, I moved here. Some of my mates were like, bro, you know, the starting rate is like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Mm. At the time, 2015, 2016, the starting rate in New Zealand was like either 16.50 to 18. Oh, you know what crazy. I mean? So yeah. I was, it was, it was way too crazy for me. I was like, sweet, I don't mind. I'll go mop. Yeah, you know, yeah. I came here, found a cleaning job. And then I remember sitting down and uh, my boss was like, okay, I'm just letting you know that the starting rate's 22.50. And I was like, <laughs> Oh gee, yeah, I'm rich! <laughs> oh gee, yeah, yeah. the same rate as my supervisor back <laughs> <laughs> And I'm mopping! <laughs> yes. oh, anyway, no, I, um, I got the job anyway, because he was, was like, oh man, it's only 22. And I, in my head, I'm like, holy shit, mm. I had the jackpot. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, uh, my mate hits me up, squeezy, he's like, Docs, you gotta come to this jam night. Cause he knew I played music through his younger brother, which is Meth, Peter. Mm. And he's one of my close boys back home. Oh, and Mef's nice. like, gee, I got an older brother's name, Squeezy. Go kick it with him. I was like, gee, I got no friends. He's like, oh, yes, sweet, he'll come pick you up. Anywho, he knew I could play drums. Squeezy hadn't even seen me play drums yet. Mm. And he only heard from his brother. The brother was like, gee, you got to get him on the drums, yeah, bro. Yeah, he yeah, only yeah. plays in the garage. Anyway, I was sitting there. The guy in the front, Russ Walker, he like, he's the lead singer of the band. It's an open mic. For the ones that don't know what open mic is, um, usually on the second set, they, they invite musicians to jump up, singers, oh, rappers, yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone. anyone. Yeah, yeah. That's mad. And I'm just sitting there like, sweet. This, this, this hectic sitting there. Everybody, give it up for Joe. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah. Looking around and then, like, where's Joe? And then Squeezy's looking at me and he goes, sorry, Docs G, I told them you play drums. I was like, oh. oh. G, keep in mind, I've never played outside my garage, you yeah, know? Yeah, I was like, yeah. bro, I was shitting myself, G. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Why'd you get me, bro? You go, you're a singer, you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, give it up for Joe. And he's like, Docs, I told them you play drums. I was like, mm. Jumped on, I swear to God, I was shitting myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine just like your whole life, you've only played in church, in your garage, as yeah. a hobby, yeah. and then all of a sudden you jump on stage where you're exposed to people. Yeah. Shut up, my heart was just like pounding. I was, yeah. I was like this. <laughs> Anywho, I jumped off. A bunch of people came up to me. They're like, hey, um, are you free Saturday? And I was like, man, sorry, uh, I work. Yeah. Another dude comes up to me, gives me his card. He's like, oh, bro, we'd love you to come jump into our corporate band. And I was like, oh, what do you guys do? He was like, oh, weddings, um, functions. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, sweet, sweet. Grab this card. And then we're driving back home. I remember on the motorway, Squeeze is like, everyone that you've shook their hand, I was like, yeah, what about them? They're like, they do it for a living. And I was like, oh, nah, you can't do it for a living. Mm. Like, yeah. So you're telling me if I drum, I'll get paid for it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you get paid for it. And I was like, holy shit, grab the card. I was like, yeah, I'm free on yeah. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free Saturday. Anywho, ever since then, where, when I got my first paycheck, I think it was like 350 bucks or something. Yeah. Gee, I swear I was the happiest mm, dude, bro. Yeah. That, that like triggered yeah, so boy. many things in my mind. You mm. know, just like yeah. from as a little kid, seven years old, knowing my parents woke up every day. Yep. Doing a nine to five in my head, I was like structured. I was like, mm. you only can make money like that. There's yeah. no way you yeah. can make yeah, money. Yeah. Anywho, come here. I play at a wedding. Half of the time, everyone's drunk. They don't care mm. about you. Yeah. You go home. You've done what you've done. Jet. Old mate comes. Oh, yeah, you just got paid. I remember opening. I was like, for the wedding? He's like, yeah. yeah. Do I have for anyone? He's like, no, nah, it's all yours. I was like, holy shit. Mm. After that. How much, how much, how much? It was like, it was like 500 bucks. Yo. Yeah, it was like 500 bucks. Yeah. And like to me, like yeah, that was, hard, that was hard, way yeah, too yeah, much yeah, to yeah, be playing yeah, drums. Hard, hard. I was like, gee, I'm sweating my ass off. Yeah. Mopping. So that was inspiring to me. Mm. Yeah. And obviously like being a poly, I always refer to poly because you know, that's my culture. Yeah. Mm. It's just, 
everything that I've learned was engraved at a young age, mm. and that's all I knew. Mm. Mm. So in my mind, I was like, "Fuck! If I do this, you know, my mates might think I'm, I'm this or that." Yeah. So hence why I never really stood out of my comfort zone until I moved to Oz, mm. yeah. and then that's that's where it all came up to this moment. Mm. But um, the Amy Shark stuff didn't come until later. Mm. Bad, yeah, bro. because uh, I played at a bar. A dude recorded it on his phone. That f- that video, that one video went viral. And then this Balangi chick, Amy Shark, she was like, yeah, yeah. who the heck's this kid? It's like, yeah. I need to get him to jump for me. And then a few people hit me up. And that, that's how I got the, the gig. That's fucking mad, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a long process. That's why I said, I was like, bro, I can talk for hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, ah, bro. that's massive, bro. Like your whole childhood. Yeah. And like all the way up to now, bro. Like you've literally been around it. And you didn't know you had the passion for it until something, you know, had to click. Yeah. That's crazy. It was your dad, bro. bro the, the fucking. Gee, shout out to my dad. All the, you, all, the, all, the, all, the, you, all the flying slippers, microphones. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, wait. Gee, wait, it worked. Shout out to my dad. Oh. Wait, what, one thing that, that you're doing, Solid, that's so inspiring, bro, is fuck, bro. You've, you've cracked the white market, bro. Like, you've cracked that audience where. You can go do stuff with, you know, Balangi or, or the white man, bro. And I think a lot of Polynesians are still stuck in their way where they don't feel that comfortable to do that. Mm. But and you're doing it now, bro. I'm like, fuck. <coughs> and um, I remember you went to New Zealand for your own uh, gig. You did your own tour there yeah, for yeah. New Zealand. How was that? Talk us about why, no, why you I went was back. Because like, that was the first time you went back in ages, eh? Oh, ages, yeah. bro. Like, it was, it was trippy because... Me being here for so long, I've hung around with, uh, what do you call it, the Balangis, and then I end up picking up small traits and small habits. Yeah. Mm. Like, for example, not putting anything to our people, but we can't go on time to save our lives, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, for example, let's say stage time is 8, 8 p.m., yeah? Yeah, yeah? These Balangis are on stage 10 minutes before they're jumping on. Mm. You know me. I'm I'm in the green room eating all the snacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, you just never feed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so so like all those small things is literally just built up characteristics yeah. mm. up to today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me doing a, a gig with a, a poly artist or um someone like my colour, mm. the logistics are a lot different. Yeah. But not that being I'm not trying to bag out them, no, but it's just you, because no. I've I've only done um Amy's gigs for like eight years. Mm. So when someone hits me up for another gig, I'm like, oh yeah, that's sweet. Oh, what time's lobby call? They're like, what's lobby call? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys have a day schedule? Or oh, what's a day schedule? Or oh, what time's the gig? 8 p.m. Sweet. I'll see you there. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know anything else. Because yeah, yeah. I was, like, with the balance, it's like, oh yeah, these are, this is, yeah, everything's yeah, like yeah, structured, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're in the army. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Joey, we've sent out the master tour. It's on an app. Yeah. Check it the day before. Yeah. Chana, I don't hear from the Balangis for a whole last 12 hours, G. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, G, I gotta be at the airport at 4 p.m. Oh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> like, see, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go with your friends and like, oh, sweet, we're gonna do a gig, 8 p.m. Mm. I guarantee you, we either missed the gig, we either come late, or <laughs> yeah. someone's still hungover. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Huh. Because I'm too I'm too used to um, gigging with her and the, yeah, what yeah. I've built up yeah. over the years. Yeah, yeah. That's mad, bro, because yeah. fucking what, what you've taken from them. Like people take that from you now. Everywhere you go, if you were to start like a business or a school or like a, a little program, people will take that from you now. And I think that's what we lack in some sort of way. A bit of guidance, a bit of guidance, bro. Mm. And fucking, you can be that guy and be like, fucking do this and do that. And the more you lead, the more people will follow. You know what I mean? But Sorry, fucking stop leading on TikTok. This guy's making me do dares at asshole. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to lead you the way, just like two two lions, G, straight up. Two lions. <laughs> no, no. Just two lions, bro. <laughs> Shit, I gotta buy a new jumpsuit. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, talk talk us through this whole like your whole social media stuff because like uh, TikTok has been a massive thing yeah, yeah. like yeah. in your career. I'm guessing like that like mm. you post videos up on there even helps with Instagram, your marketing. Bro. Yeah, hard <laughs> out, yeah, bro. Even your Instagram, bro. You've got so many videos of you drumming and stuff. You mm, can see bro. now. That you love, like, do you, would you say you love music? Yeah, I only built passion, I still remember it, 2019. Mm. Mm. Like, it sounds crazy, yeah, because I've drummed my yeah, whole yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Docs, the only reason why I did it is I knew I was good at it, but I didn't know how good I was at it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. in my mind, someone will come yeah, off stage yeah. and be like, hey, bro, you're good at drumming. And I'm like, okay. yeah, my dad doesn't rink. <laughs> my dad yeah. doesn't think so, so I'm not yeah, good yeah, at drumming. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's how I've always been. And yeah, then they're yeah. like, oh, you're a good drummer. Yeah. I was like, nah, not really. Yeah. It's yeah. just because, I'll tell you, my old man's so strict, bro. Mm. Like, I grew up no radio. 
I swear to God, G, I, yeah. like the only time I'll listen to like rap or something will be at school. Mm. True. Like no TV. Yeah. Until like after I hit 18, mm. I come here playing all these R&B songs that I knew of. Like, yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. hey, you, you know Stevie Wonder. I was like, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's a no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's half Tongan. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. I was like, uh, especially being Tongan, man, like, um, the morals are like so strong. 100 Yeah, like, yeah. like so 100. strong. Yeah, yeah. And um, in terms of the social media stuff, yeah, yeah. the reason why I've done it is because I knew, I was like, sweet, how do I get gigs? Mm. Oh, yeah. If I if I got exposed from one video, yeah. imagine if, if I did ten. 10 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's how I was yeah. thinking. I was just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Was that's like, mad. I'll stuff it. That's I'll mad. just do it. If my if my mate thinks it's, it's and that was a thing I was scared. I was scared mm. to post stuff about Amy. Yeah. yeah because I was, yeah. I was a Balangi artist and my mates would be like, oh gee, her music's not even cool. Because yeah. they're too used to listening yeah. to what they're yeah, used yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anywho, when I built up the passion for it, end of 2018, I didn't care. Mm. I was like, I don't care if da 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 thinks yeah, yeah, this. I was like, I'm gonna do it, you know. It's gonna put bread and butter on my table. Yeah, bro, sweet. Word, yeah. word, word. And once, well, once you've done that, would you say the work? That, that that's when the work just flooded in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, being in the industry, whether it's rugby, painting, music, mm-hmm. without people, we're, we're too like fixed on. Oh, gee, I want to be the best rugby mm. player. Yeah. Mm. I want to be the best drummer. Me, mm. I don't want to be the best drummer. Mm. I don't want to be the best producer. I just want to be the hardest work on the room. That's like, mad. There might be better people than me, yep. but I, I'll work them. Like, yeah, that that yeah, was yeah. my I, mindset. They I was like, they can, have, rate, the, bro, they yeah. can yeah. have the best, whatever yeah, yeah. they think. Yeah, yeah. But in my mind, I was like, gee, I just want to be the like, hardest work on the room. Yeah. Mm. I love that, bro. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's my sort mm. of um, philosophy yeah, yeah. in music. That's mad, bro. Because you, like, even how you just said, you don't want to be the best uh, producer as well. Fuck, bro. This guy's, guys, this guy's fucking done songs as well. Like, he's produced songs <laughs> with fucking Fiji, Fiji bro. designer, all of that, bro. Like, how did, how did that passion come up? Because obviously, you've been in the music career for so long. What made you want to push more towards um, making, music? Yeah, yeah, making, making music, music, yeah. I think most of it comes back to my, my early childhood. I used to play on this like fifty dollar keyboard. I swear to God that the, the keys was missing its teeth. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's always gonna come back to my childhood because what um, my parents provided—that's all we had at the time. Like, mm. with a broken drum kit, a broken keys, broken mm. guitar, and I was like, "Sweet, what, what can I do with this?" Yeah, yeah. Any growing up, growing up, end up getting keys that have teeth on it, and I'm like, mm. "Gee, I couldn't do that before." <laughs> oh, so I can do this. <laughs> the e shops yeah. there. The yeah. E-shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, um. Making music it was was always there, like yeah. at a young age. It was yeah. like I really had the passion for it when mm. I was more younger, in yeah. like mm. primary, yeah, yeah. intermediate. Yeah. Um, I was I was always making music. I never stopped it. Yeah. But yeah. um, coming here it was just like a big change. Yeah. In culture, it was a mm. massive yeah. culture shock. Culture shock. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah, yeah. percent. And um, brings you back to that question of like, if you ever been back at home in ages? Yeah. Mm. Like not trying to back New Zealand. I yeah. left 2015. Yeah. Went back December. The same. It felt like 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Same. Like love, love, love all my boys, bro. <laughs> yeah, like proper. you know what I mean. Yeah. Proper, but like yeah. I'm at that stage in my life where if I do stuff, I know I'm gonna get judged. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Ah, that's not cool. In my mind, I don't care about cool. I was just like yeah. mm. these these goals that I've I've set out yeah. as a yeah. as a musician. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And hence why I wanted to do producing because yeah. Yeah. drumming when I came here, it's like playing a video game. It felt like I. I clocked the game. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah. bro, I really, I want to try something else. Yeah, mm. that, yeah. yeah, but it wasn't because I thought I, I was better than anyone. Mm. It's just in my mind, I was like, drums. I was mm. like, man, uh, I got fully endorsed as in like um, branding wise. So, mm. so I'm endorsed by Remo, Yamaha, Vic Firth <laughs> and Peisty Symbols. <laughs> yeah, so, but a lot of people don't really know that because yeah. some of the stuff I, I just <clears> did little goals just to try and tick off every year. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, when I landed, I'm going to be fully endorsed. Mm. And people are like, ah, you're not going to be endorsed, bro. Yeah, and the yeah. Balangis get endorsed. Mm. Yeah. It's like two years later, <laughs> gee, I'm fully endorsed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boys, I'm endorsed. Yeah. <laughs> What's endorsed? <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah. oh, What's endorsed? <laughs> <laughs> What's in those? Google. Oh. <laughs> 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 <That's good. laughs> <That's hard. laughs> wow. Lucky you brought it up. But after the podcast, the boys, boys, everyone was endorsed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were saying all the things like I'm endorsed by Yamaha, and I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Sorry, we need a week. I know Yamaha, I know Yamaha. 
<laughs> nah, but man, man, fucking. Bro, so congratulations on your latest release. Yeah, one sir. call. One call, man. Yeah. Joe, you know, Joe Moloff. Yeah. 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 DG and Design. Yeah. Joe, bro, I want to. Uh, featuring us. Featuring us. Hey, hey. Yeah, my fucking yeah, follow up. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'll talk to you. What, what was going through your mind when you were creating that song? Because if you guys haven't heard about mm. the song already, it's all about mental health, you know, being mm. there for your brothers and Classy stuff. That's subject, though. You know, it's a. It's, bro, the song's crack up, bro. Yeah. What was your thought process as you're writing, you know? as you're producing that song. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah, sense, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I started during COVID, during COVID. When COVID hit, obviously uh, the, the music industry or the arts industry in general, mm. bro, it got hit, bro, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like big time. Mm. Properly. Like from the restaurants to just doing shows in general, the bars, you know, hospitality no was down no 100%. Geek, well, yeah. Anywho, because a lot of my friends in this, uh, within my circle are all musicians. Mm. Their main income to feed their families yeah. was yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Gigs. Yeah. And that. yeah, Being some of them, public. 100, 100. Yeah. Some of them reached out to me like to the point where they're like, fuck, I can't do this anymore. Like if, if, if there's, there's no music, fuck, there's no money for my, my babies. There's no money for mm. my wife. And I can't really provide because that's all they've known. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Imagine Probably. doing an art or being in an industry longer than like five to 10 years and that's all you knew. Yep. Mm. And then all of a sudden the pandemic hits and tells it's you to do something else. Yeah. 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 So um, when the pandemic hit, I was like, for me, like, because bro, fuck, I grew up with nothing, you know? I got yeah. nothing to yeah. lose. I'm like, shit, how can I make money? Mm. And um, I'm not a citizen in Australia. Yeah? Nah, I'm not a citizen. So we didn't really yeah, get the that? perks. <laughs> yeah, bro. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> 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 He's going to get one <laughs> one, two. Oh, is it the Bro, your last chance. <laughs> Gee, we're going serious, serious. Are <laughs> uh, you over? <laughs> oh, bro. Gee, I'm Gee, trying to, I'm trying to be serious. Bro. Bro. <laughs> but I'm tricky. <laughs> <laughs> when COVID hit, yeah. A lot of my mates were like going through, I swear to God, I'm not going to say any of their names, yeah. mm. but people within my circle um, were going through like mental health. Mm. And yeah, in my mind, I'm like, shit, what, what? Like, I wouldn't say it to them, but I was like, mm. why don't you guys just like try to figure something out and like mm. lean on learning a new, I don't know, craft yeah, mm. or picking up something else, yeah, a so trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, I was like, oh, fuck, I'll write a song about it. Mm. Anywho, uh, I wrote it. Uh, shout out to Dev and Jay Squeezy. Big they came in the system. Shout out to those guys, bro. And then I hit up Design at the time. Obviously, as you guys know, the pandemic, the manager hits me up. He's like, oh yeah, we can do that. I sent him over the stems, the chorus. Bro, they sent it back straight away. And a year and a half later, when the pandemic was going down, mm. I bumped into Fiji. It was, it, was, it was a crack idea. I swear to God, the funniest way we bumped into Fiji, each other. Fiji as in Fiji. Fiji, yeah. yeah nah, some Fiji, people, nah, Fiji. Fiji. Nah, Fiji. <laughs> you don't know what that is. You want to know? You want to know? You want to know? Fiji. Nah, Fiji. This guy, Fiji, Fiji, like the fruit. Fiji, yeah, yeah. Freaks. Anywho, I did, um... The Rolling Louds Awards with Amy. Oh, sure. Yeah, nothing yeah. much. Shout out to the Rolling Louds, Damn, you know? Bro. <laughs> Shout out, <bro. laughs> Nah, I did the Rolling Louds in Sydney on a Wednesday, and Squeezy was doing his backing vocals on that uh, that weekend. I was like, the tour manager was like, oh, Joey, do you want me to uh, book your flight back? I was like, no, no, no. I'm gonna come see my mate. I was like, sweet. I rock up to the lobby. Fiji's there. And I was, because I've never met him. Mm. I was like, he's like, Mana, you the drummer? I was like, <laughs> Me? <laughs> 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 Are you the drummer? Like, no. Son, are you a drummer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. Like, yeah, yo, I'm the drummer, I'm the drummer. And the squeeze is like, yo, he goes, but I can I get a photo? I was like, gee, can I get a photo of you? <laughs> That's bad, bro. Holy <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, what are you doing tomorrow? I was like, oh, I'm going to fly back home to Brizzy. Mm. And he's like, you want to go in the studio? Bro, I swear to God, um, G, I was like, G, I'm going to book my flight next week. Oh so we end up going studio for like two and a half days. Right. And then even even still, I didn't even show him any music. It's squeezy, bro. I swear to God, I'm going to pull your dread, Shanna. <laughs> he goes, man, I just show him the song, G. I was like, no, shut up. 
played it and he goes, man, I can I jump on this one? Yeah. Jumped on it, murked the G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He listened to it once and he knew like the storyline behind it. Yeah, yeah. And it just it related to him at that level. And he's like, yeah. oh, sweet. Went in, punched this verse in, yeah. came back home. And then we straight mixed and mastered it. Mm. And that's how that one call came about. Oh, fuck. Just like that, yeah. bro. Yo, how was, bang, how, bang, how, bang. Bro, how, how was being around uh, Fiji, bro? Like in, in, in a work sense. Hard, seeing bro. seeing she's, mm. seeing him being able to bang that out yeah that quick Hard. how did that help I you seen him I seen him I seen him share the the video yeah yeah fucking yeah. follow us back bro <laughs> 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 gee, gee. bro yes. like, even even if I meet him a hundred times like mm. the excitement is always gonna still, be uh, really proper, still like, Fiji yeah, yeah. yeah because like we, we grew up like grew up watching our parents drink to yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 you know yeah. what I mean yeah. Yeah. Nick yeah. Yeah. fuck you had an older, older age and he was like, like gee that's Fiji bro yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bro. like yo yo gee I'm all good <laughs> gee I'm in the studio trying to like just hold back my like, yeah. 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 but when he jumped on the verse I swear to god it was just like I couldn't really explain it. It's like, and to know that was like my second release and but my first release for the year mm. with someone at that caliber, someone I've looked up to like literally my whole life. I think not only me, even you guys as as, yeah, as, as, as Polly's, mm. um, he's like, what do you call it? No, he's I like our I, Michael Jackson, you know? Yeah, hard, hard. He's like the- uh, I back that 100%, yeah. bro. His so, voice, his voice. Yeah, oh. yeah. Bro, tell tell us what it's like for you to be Tongan. What, what does it mean for you to be Tongan, bro? Or be Polynesian? Yeah. It means the world, bro. I mentioned the World Cup when we beat Samoa. Not last one. Dreamy, no, no. Hey, the one dreamy, bro. Hey, hey, the one dreamy, bro. The one before. I know what you mean. When we, I'm telling you, just shut up. I was that proud, G. I remember the um, the World Cup when um, David Fafita, Jason Damalolo, I swear to God, we beat New Zealand. I had a gig that week. Mm. The next day, shout out to Kane. I went straight away, got the tattered, like, like the tongue of Chris on my chest, bro. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, tap my chest. <laughs> oh, we're proud. I probably know half of the answer, but <laughs> Jesus, I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. I, I'm, I'm so proud to be Tongan, man. Like, yeah, so mm. proud. Especially, you know, you know how it is growing up yeah, as a Tongan. Um, you can't really step out of your comfort zone within, like, there's a thing we call lotto file, you know, my mm. parents are always goes, you know, um, everything you learn is in, in your lounge. Yeah. So they plant a seed um, at a young age for us Tongans, you know, Facts, and bro. I can talk on behalf of a lot of Tongans. And the reason being for, the reason why a lot of Tongans, artists, rugby players, musicians don't really put their craft out there, it's just because how we got brought up. Mm. And I'm not trying to take that away from any other nationality yeah, within no, the Polynesian community. Yeah. It's just like, the, the morals within our Tongan culture, I swear to God, is, is next to none, bro. Yeah, 100%, yeah. bro. Like, you do something small out of the proportion, yeah. gee, all the Tongans are like, droop! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Make so noise it's, and then That's real yeah. hard, bro. And it was like, oh, why isn't there much Tongan musicians? Why isn't there much yeah. Tongan singers? I was like, the Tongans can know, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, Tongans yeah. know Tongans. Yeah. 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 And Thanks, then our morals are just, like I said, it's, it's, it's next to none, bro. Yeah. But yeah. for me, they're like the reason why I sort of stepped out of my shell yeah. is because I was like, we've, we've been taught these morals at a young age. Yeah. Mm. I was like, my, my principle towards it was like, <clears throat> it shouldn't be the reason why it holds us back. It should be the reason why we step out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know? Even more. Yeah. Even more. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm just trying to like create a domino effect within our culture mm. to try to let any other young Tongan kid know that gee, it's all good to pick Yo, up sticks. It, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just because your dad goes, you get a job from the factory before I die, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you can Papa, work. Yeah, it's, 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 true, it's capable, bro. Yeah. And I'm a living testament. Yeah, yeah. Facts, hard, bro. Bro. Facts, I love that, bro, because fucking, one thing I can say about Tongans, bro, is even before the parades with like Samoa this year, bro, <laughs> like, or last year, bro, Tongans been doing that for years, Being proud bro. of our country, bro. Like you guys are fucking, even my cousin was saying, like she's from NZ, she she says she goes through fucking streets and there's Tongan flags tatted on the fence or like mm. graffiti on the, on the fence, fence. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like one thing I do remember is when Sam walked, fuck it, be Tongan, <laughs> baby. Now, but hey, I I give it to you guys, man, because that's well, when I see a guy with a fucking. Uh, a tongue and crest on their chest or their leg, I'll be like, fuck, this guy's a hard cunt. I'll just. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this guy's always like, a hard cunt. I'm a hard cunt. I'm a hard cunt. 
I'm like, actually, get this on the party, G. Fuck, you walk past, I'm like, set you, bro. Oh, yeah, he's hard. He's hard. He's hard. He's hard. He's hard. He's hard. Talk us about your upbringing with your family. Like, well, like, did your siblings have any effect on how you are as a person? Because, fuck, bro, like, People will see you and they're like, "Oh fuck, Joe, man, Joe." But like, they get to meet you, talk to you, and like, but when I first, when I, when I first seen this guy, I seen him on TikTok, bro. <laughs> I was trying to fucking troll the cunt, bro. Like, I was, yeah, I was trying yeah. to troll him in the comments, but he wasn't biting in. I was like, "Oh fuck," and I was still new to TikTok. Mm -hmm. I met him, started having a like a proper chat. <laughs> Like my first thought when I left that place, like, "Can't this guy's out the gate, bro? This guy's like a proper, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like a proper guy you can actually have a talk to without feeling like." He has that kind of persona. You know what yeah, I mean? You didn't have that persona when I first met you. Did, did your your siblings have that effect on you, on you being the way you are? If you get what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Um, any any young sibling in any family, especially in a Polynesian yeah. or a Tonga mm. family to be exact, yeah. all you want to do is try and make either your parents or your siblings proud. Mm -hmm. If they don't think it's good, in my mind, I'm like... Fuck, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. The Rock can come tell me, but like, gee, you're a good drummer. And in my mind, I was like, gee, I gotta wait till my brothers tell me I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what my I mean? I'll drop you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so, but it's, it's, I don't know how it is for other people, but for me, mm, mm. it's like certain things I wouldn't do in front of my siblings yeah. Yeah. because I have their self doubt. I'm like, bro, I'm the youngest. They probably think it's trash. Yeah, I don't know. Imagine yeah. if I come out, try singing, and they're like, gee, why are you yeah. singing? And I was like, oh, no, I was just joking. That's like, a, like a, the thing for the Tongans, eh? Like, we love to mock each other, especially siblings. Mm. Like, do you think, like, the mocking and that held you back? Like, held you back from, like, expressing yourself properly? Nah, G, nah. that made me worse. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I mock on TikTok is because my sister sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> nah, I'm telling you, bro, you grew up with like three Tongan sisters, bro. Oh, bro. oh yeah. my nah, days. Don't oh, tell you my God. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, man. Like, um, like, for example, like, for example, you can't get a missus. You can't. You can't do anything, yeah, dogs. They're yeah, like, facts, "What are you gonna your girlfriend for? You can't even make your bed." And I was <laughs> yeah. like, "Okay, I'll do the washing." <laughs> like, you, know, you know, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, dogs. Yeah, it's like, bro, being around like Tongan women, I put them on a pedestal in that sense because um, they have a mother's heart. You know, mm. they want to be like their mother, and then mm. it's just it comes to a point where you're just like. Gee, how am gonna impress these girls? Gee, mm. I can't even do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like even drumming, bro, I was way too scared. I'll yeah. post up stuff, but I won't <laughs> tell my family. And then my siblings will be like, you didn't tell me you were doing that good. I was like, gee, I'm mm. not telling you. You're gonna tell me a stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah. just like that? What, what, what was it like when they said that you were cracker? Like, you know, when when, when they said that yeah. you're proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how was that feeling? You know, having that, you know, that 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 thought of that clarification these guys yeah. don't even like me like me and then they give you that you know applause they, yeah, yeah they yeah. give you that applause how was that feeling i think it was the time when um i started making content mm. and oh, yes. started doing shows and started um doing a lot of gigs so it's funny my sister's like my sister comes up to me she's like do you know this girl da, 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 da. i was like nah i've never met her she's like oh your brother's the that famous drummer and then my sister, because she's not so much like with, with social media, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was like, my brother, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a snotty nose. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your boyfriend you're going to pick a cock, my sister. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 shout out to the girls of Big Cock, my sister. <laughs> 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 Jeez, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like my sister in her brain, like she's like my little brother, mm. like no way. But anyway, like she, she, and they, my, all my siblings, my parents are like, oh, proud of you, bro. And like uh, for me, like even them saying that, I'm like, fuck, I cracked it. Yeah, mm. yeah, in that sense, not not in trying to make the, trying to get the most views, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. break bank. Mm. It's like if, if I can make my family proud. So like, to me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Sweet, I could die tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, hard, hard. Once bad. you got that um, applause from them, did that make you work harder? Oh, bro, 10 times harder. Yeah. Because mm. I was scared to drop something else. I was yeah, like, yeah. if they think this is cool, I was like, gee, I don't want to drop anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I always doubted myself, bro. Yeah. And I still do up to today. today yeah. uh, I'm not perfect or anything, but um, like I said, I just, 
it's, it comes to a point in my life where I literally just want to be the hardest worker. Mm. I don't mm. want to. I know twenty other drummers that's better than me mm. yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah. You know, I, I know a hundred different producers that's better than me. But the only thing that I can say with my chest and be proud of was like, bro, they, they work harder than me, yeah. docs. Yeah. Like straight up, off, huh? you know, like I'm I'm keen. I doubt, man. That's, that's mad. mad. That's mad. And uh, one thing I do like. I feel like the top drummers in the world, bro, are like gospel drummers, bro. If you agree, if you, I don't know if you, but this me personally, when I see like a a personal uh, a gospel drummer, bro, they fucking yeah, drum they their hammer, ass bro. Yeah. off, bro. Although even like just gospel musicians in general. Oh yeah, bro. hard, hard, hard. Like out, even bro. the like the bassist, like yeah, yeah. bass guitarist, if they're gospel, bro, yeah, poor, yeah. they got just a different yeah. flavor. Yeah, yeah. Fucking they fucking play, shit, bro. like they. Oh, bro, that's mad. Do you guys do? Do you guys reckon that the Real, like the real OG musicians are dying out in the in the scene now. Who T? That's not a joke, bro. I ain't a musician. That's, a, that's, a, that's a cracker what Christian. What do you reckon? Uh, holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, I think I don't want to bag any artists or musicians or even just being in another wave. Um, with yes. music, and, no, no, no. With <laughs> no, music no. And, in itself. Mm. When it goes from 80s, 90s, early 2000s to now, mm. yeah. it comes down to evolution. You know what I mean? Mm. Like where, yeah. where the music evolves. Yeah. Facts, bro. So if you've got an old head that likes, you know, old school R&B, yeah, yeah. it's inevitable for them to be like, ah, oh, they don't make the 90s yeah, music the anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guarantee in 20 more years, they're going to be like, they don't make trap drill anymore. You know, yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, end yeah, up yeah. being a, it's going to always yeah. evolve at yeah, some yeah. point. Yeah. But in terms of um, live music, yeah. Nothing beats live music. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I'm not bagging anyone. If anyone does shows, like they should invest in a live band, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna sell a show, yeah. don't just sell yourself, sell the performance. That's one yeah, thing I've learned. 100%, yeah, eh? Like free game, you, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like the rugby players, they won't they won't play rugby at the back of the yards, like all blacks versus wallabies. Oh gee, we'll just go play a game down the road. Mm. They're trying to sell it. Yeah. So we're like, sweet, well, how are we going to do that? Put in the stadium, put lights. Mm. What else are we going to do? Get some camera guys. Mm. Same thing, same similar concept. Yeah. It's like, sweet, if you're going to put a show on, go 120%. Mm. How are you going to do that? There's going to be people in the crowd where if they're staring at you for a good 50 minutes, yeah, they're like, sweet, this dude's just rapping yeah. or this dude's just singing mm. or this dude's just DJing. Invest in a band yeah. that can bring your music to life. Hard. Yeah. So instead of Facts. the artist either rapping, singing, doing whatever, Poultry, spoken yeah, yeah. word. Yeah, yeah. Invest in the performance. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Right. So when people leave, they're gonna leave with a good taste. Yeah, good yeah. experience. To the point yeah, yeah. where they're like, gee, I can't wait to see the Bender Bros mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like yeah, it's hard, like, hard, oh, hard. did you see the Love band? That. Yeah, yeah. It's not only gonna be that singer or rapper. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. he's he's well, put his pride cool aside, you know? Joe, Joe, my love was free game now. Come on now, dog. Free game, bro. Getting notepads out. That's mad, that's mad, bro. Like because then again, bro, if you see like if Usher was to come and then he'll give like his drummer like a, a 30 second yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, song. Yeah, right, everyone yeah. will remember that bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh fuck that drummer was gangster, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, even yeah, though he's yeah, playing yeah. like a, like he's mm. doing a, a simple thing the whole mm. time, gets his 30 seconds of shine, bro. Yeah. Just, like mm. fuck. How's it go? Like, like, buru like his fucking head, you fucking buru like a Like your buru. <laughs> like your buru, boy. <laughs> Have you ever got those? Well, what's the feeling like that, bro? When you get like yeah, a- Yeah, you a little time. Yeah, you get a little time, bro. Oh, bro, it's it's hard for me, like, cause. Um, Should you just show us? Should you just show us now? Oh no! <laughs> see you later. I'll see you later. See you later, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, for me, like, like I said, I have no pride. Uh, I serve, I serve the artists and their music like pretty mm. well. Like that's something I take pride in myself. So if an artist is like Joey, I'm gonna need you to hold down a beat for three minutes. I'm like, Shana, I got you. Mm. I'll hold it down. Mm. Like in that sense, as a musician, like I love serving other people's artists. Yeah. That's Hence nice. why I wanted to do my own stuff. I've been serving other people yeah, yeah. for eight plus years. It's like yeah. it's only right that I serve myself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's the only reason why I, I I'm trying to put out music. Like my number one goal is just to play at least one of my songs live, bro. Like yeah. it, imagine me playing John's like shit. This is my own shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, no yeah, yeah. shit. Like you, that's, you playing and you singing your ass off. Yeah, bro. Like, you know, they'll be it. mad. They'll be mad. But uh, yeah, like in that sense, I just love serving like. Whoever I'm playing for, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll serve the shit out of their soul. Yeah, yeah. Do you think your heart of service came from church? Came from your upbringing? Oh, 100%. And yeah. I'm not trying to go all like churchy, churchy. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. 
Um, but it does play. It does play a part. You know, you can't forget that stuff. One hundred percent. And um, praise and worship doesn't stop in the four corners of your church. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, there's some people that might not know God, yeah. but you could be the Bible that they haven't read yeah, yeah. physically. Mm. Yeah. So if they seen you play, I swear to God, majority of the time, ninety five percent of the time, they're like, oh. Are you a church drummer? Mm. See, I always get that. And in yeah. my head, I'm I'm too busy, like, oh sweet, I'm I'm in my own zone. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cause I'm too used to praise and worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um I see a lot of people like debating on church. Oh, you can't play worldly music. Yeah. You can't I was, was going to get onto that, bro. Yeah, yeah. What was what, what was it like, you know, knowing your your um your upbringing and that and then finding your way into the music industry. I know there's heaps of dark areas in the music mm. industry and you know, there's a lot of things that aren't really spoken about and kept behind closed doors. Mm. Like what was it like you like you knew what was right for you on in terms of um religion and your faith mm. and then coming into the world, seeing the worldly things, what how did it like both of that how did you balance both Come on. both sides of you? Come on. Um <coughs> that's 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 tricky bro because that is um, a tricky question bro. Hundred percent. And only I just say this because I'm a pastor's kid Majority of the pastors could can, can like relate to how how I'm about to answer this question. It's like we've grown up. Speak for us, bro, because my dad's a my dad's a fight for gold. Too. Yeah, it's just growing up your whole life, you know. Like you're like, I swear to God, just eagles just waiting for you to muck up, you know. Mm. Oh, that's uh, thing, son. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, in my yeah. mind, yeah. I'm like, I don't care about the bad thing I've done, yeah. but the thing but the I care about reflects. is my mum and dad, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, gee, my dad thinks I'm a shit cunt, you know. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. So just being a pastor's kid, the reason why a lot of us, actually me, I won't talk on behalf of them. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. reason why like I do a lot of like rebellions is because I go against the grain of everything I do, yeah. you know? I met someone who say, sit down. Nah, you sit down. You know, it's not, it's yeah, but it's not, it's not. This girl is a little smart outside church, bro, for sure. No, it's not, it's not in that sense of being prideful. Yeah. Mm. It's just like, if you're gonna come correct, come with some receipts. Why should I sit down? Like, yeah. explain to me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Your knees are going to be tired. Okay, I'll sit down. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't, don't just come and just be like, you're Do this that. bad. Yeah. You're thinking, son. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. doing this bad. Hard, hard. And in my mind, I'm just like, gee, you're doing everything that you're going against what you believe. Yeah. I was like, why are you judging me? Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it like, doesn't make sense to me. Mm. But like, um, being a pastor's kid, like, we're always the first to be like, shame. Your son did this. Yeah. And then my dad's mm. preaching there every Sunday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. To the point where there was times where there would be no one at the seats. Mm. And I questioned my old man. I'm like, dad, like, why, why do you set up 50 chairs and only two people show up? And he's like, oh, God will fill the seats. Right to oh, me, I'm just like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? It's like, bro, it's like, it's, it blows my mind. Mm. Like, I reckon the bro can walk on water, G. Like, yeah, like yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, G, I was like, yeah. bro, there's 50 chairs. Yeah, yeah. And hard. I'm sitting there bringing my drums. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and then, hard. like, uh, just, yeah. The reason why we attend the church that many times is just like, this dude's trying to save other people and he can't save his kids. Mm. Yeah. So, like, why am I not waking up at 9 a.m. to go to church? Mm. Like, so I'll go to church and then there's always going to be a lady being like, da 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 da, son, yeah. was at the club? It was like that the whole yeah. time growing yeah. up yeah. My, my whole life. Mm. Mm. But then uh, I learned to to block it out at some stage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I most of it played a part of moving here. Like mm. a lot of the stuff I knew here, I didn't think it was possible back home. Back there. Yeah. 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 I was stuck in a rut to the point where it was like a circle. And if we go out the circle, it's like an alarm that just be like, mm. ew, ew, that yeah, dude's yeah. doing that. And I'm like, yeah. okay, you I'm feel like you're that. <laughs> like restricted to a lot of things. Everything, not a yeah. lot of things, everything, everything yeah. to the yeah. point where where I was scared to release music. And I'm yeah. still scared because everyone's labeled me as this drummer. Mm. They haven't really seen the other side that I really enjoy making music. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hence why I did a lot of the content that I mm. did drop. Mm. Yeah. I didn't really do it for me. Yeah. I did it for the people that that really liked my stuff. Yeah. 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 And then me dropping music, that's the only time I could be me. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, that, oh, I could drop yeah. songs. That's so true, bro. Because like that, and it's good that you have that. I don't give a fucking mentality, bro. Right? Because that that's probably taking you extra further than 100%. what you you know what I mean. Like if we listened to the people at the start telling us how to run this podcast, fuck, we would have been in the same spot we were back then. Back you know then, what I mean? Bro. But like, so you've you've gone through those challenges, mm. especially now. Like, and it's good that you know. 
only you know and only you mm. can understand. You don't need to prove this to anyone. And it's mad that you're oh, you're walking yeah. testament for it. You know what I mean? Tell us about fucking Jimmy Fallon, bro. Jimmy Fallon show. Bro, You've done, bro, bro, tell bro, us about all your gigs, bro. You, bro. Fuck, bro. Those are oh, massive gigs. Jimmy Fallon's massive. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this guy went over to the US and drummed his ass off with this guy, bro. Like, imagine the Jimmy that. Jimmy Fallon show, bro. Everyone Jimmy knows Fallon it. Jimmy Everyone Fallon, knows bro. that. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. Like like I said, um, imagine, I swear to God, just put me in your shoes, yeah? For, just for two seconds. Mm. Imagine you being that little kid just finished school. It's about 6 p.m. Jimmy Fallon turns on, yeah? Imagine that. Just, <laughs> yeah, just picture yeah. that. And then, well, 10, 15 years later, you get caught up and then you're in that same studio that Jimmy Fallon's been playing since you were a young kid. Yeah. <sighs> like, the shit that was going on in my mind, I was yeah. just like... Like, Holy heck! Yeah. Oh, and the, the thing that I, I'm really proud of is like New Zealand got behind me heaps, bro. Oh, That's mad. Really? Yeah, oh, man. I, and I had no idea. Mm. I had no idea. Like when I when I dropped it on Facebook, or all my mates are like, "Oh, gee, News Hub was talking about it. Yeah, uh, my FM was talking about it. Mm. Flavor was talking about it. like you know what I mean? They're like just bagging on about it. And in my mind, I'm like. Holy heck, I put fuck, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, on yeah, the yeah, map, yeah, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna fuck with me now. Yeah. 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 Same, bro. But nah, being a drummer, as you guys know, uh, Chris Love, you guys know Chris Love. Tell me you guys yeah. know Chris Love. Yeah, yeah. Or you guys are probably too young. No, no, Chris Love. Yeah, yeah. So, he's so. A drummer. Yeah, he's so. Uh, the Roots is the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. That's so yeah. Come here. Look, listen, listen, listen. He doesn't know Chris Love. Gee, I'm done, nay, eh, dogs. I'm out. <laughs> no. Now, Chris Don't Love me. is uh, one of the pioneers within, like, uh, like the '90s. Like, you got your Boom Bap, mm -hmm. uh, Jay Dilla. Okay. He was, bro. I'm telling you, the pinnacle or that era, mm. especially with that sound. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's got a band called The Roots, mm. and he's the drummer. Anywho. Yeah, they did, they, they did um, John Legend. They did a song with John Legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. They've done heaps of songs yeah, of yeah. heaps of people. Mm -hmm. Well, only the, they're the, like um, the studio band. Mm. Yeah. So oh. the Roots come on. Yeah. The 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 host that and everyone behind the scenes have no idea. Like I already knew. I was like ten steps ahead. Yeah, I was yeah. like. Where's Quest Love? Oh, gee, yeah. I seen this drama when it took a photo of it. <laughs> I seen you the photo, yes, sir. <laughs> Remember the people thinking, gee, the drum was pretty valid. Well, took shit. <laughs> but uh, I took a photo on his drum kit, Barry. I'm telling you, gee, I was so scared. Mm. I didn't care about the crowd. There could have been 75,000 people. Yeah. I wouldn't care. I usually like thrill off that. Yeah. yeah. I seen Quest Love, he's like this. Damn. Oh. And I'm sitting there like, <laughs> oh shit, he's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I really did really this, yeah. Boom, boom, looked up, was like, <laughs> and I was that scared, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. not scared as in playing. Yeah. Like, my playing was always like at a high. Yeah, yeah. But it's the, like the fact, I mean, you're playing in front of your in legend, bro. Yeah, yeah, Man, yeah, John Alonso, we watching this dude in his prime, yeah. yeah, yeah John Alonso, yeah. like this. Stink. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Asshole. Stink to podcast. <laughs> 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 oh, I was about to say something. I was about yeah, to get yeah, cancelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mic. <laughs> James Zaga. <laughs> Jeez, you guys know <laughs> TikTok, TikTok, 500. <laughs> uh, TikTok bro when I'm in his comments bro he bags me all the time bro <laughs> now I've bro. got the mic <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah there go go on go on um, yeah bro I was that scared just to I don't know I was trying to impress him mm. it's like cause he's a drummer yeah. I'm a drummer and he's at a stage where I reckon it's the pinnacle of drumming mm. yeah. so me trying to hold down three minutes grooving. I swear to God, gee, me and my toes were having the meanest combo. <laughs> oh, gee, how's your day today, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> look at oh, shit. <laughs> look away, bro. Fuck, look at the singer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Chris Love, man, I was, I was sacking it. That's bro. mad, bro. Like, what, was it, what was it like being on the same stage as Warren G and Snoop Dogg, bro? I oh, see you done your homework. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lola Palooza, yeah? Yeah, Lola oh, Palooza. Uh, was he Lola just Palooza. told me at the break. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Cut, G. Lola Palooza. T. I swear to God. Well, I was buzzing because I was with the Balang, you see? Mm -hmm. We're on an urban festival. In my mind, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm with my people. Because yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been touring doing pop indie. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Pop indie. Gee, by the time we're on. Lola Palooza, I'm just like. Channel, what's indie? Sorry. Oh, it's a type of genre. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, um, 
we're doing Lollapalooza. And I'm like sitting there with my phone scouting all the fish. I was like, bro, we're going to watch Daniel Caesar. The Balangis are like, who's Daniel Caesar? I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Geez, Michael Jackson's brother, G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, Eddie, there was... There was <laughs> He's drunk! He's drunk! We got him! You want me to talk normal to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop going! <laughs> 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 yes, I do. If I see this on my fucking YouTube. <laughs> Gee. Anyway, being a lot of police, there was like urban acts to the point where um, a lot of the people that I was with they didn't even know who they were. Yep. In my mind, I was like, bro, mm. you guys don't know Daniel Caesars? Mm. Warren G. Mm. They're like, the only person like, Snoop Dogg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, we're, I was on the same lineup as them. Um, there was a mess. Do you remember when Fortnite was at its prime? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah these guys were that shit. Rocking that shit. Yeah, they were all trash. They were done. Easy 1v1. Fuck come, bro. Miles come, bro. See, it's cap cheap. I put my holler to him. Nah, so um, Ninja, he did his first meet and greet there. Oh, shucks. Chana, I swear to God. On tour and used to travel for my PS4 mm -hmm. because yeah, most of the time yeah. a lot of them used to drink at the bars or they'll be going out, Joey, do you wanna come? Let's go yeah, drink yeah. over there. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna chill at the hotel. <laughs> Call up the hotel. Hello, reception. I was like, oh, do you guys got an Ethernet cable? <laughs> 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 What's the Ethernet cable? Bro. Oh, it's for my PS4. <laughs> I remember watching this guy's stories. That was exactly like that. Nah, during, I swear to God. COVID yeah. and that. This guy was taking his PS4 to America, Everywhere, Germany. Right? He went Germany. France, uh, UK. He did yeah, a whole like Canada. Europe tour, bro, with his PS4, bro. Yeah. I was like, these guys, are you serious? Go, go look at the fucking <laughs> green, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like old buildings. Where's <laughs> 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 on the Fortnite map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yo, Fortnite right, guys, if, if you don't know who Ninja is, bro, back in what, 2015, 2017, around that time? Where, where younger? Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite, nah. when he was popping. 2018. 2018, yeah. He put Fortnite on the map. Yeah, so he's one of like Fortnite's biggest like players. So yeah. this guy, I met him, fucking hell. Yeah, so I met him. Uh, was that was that funny? Oh. He walks past us, yeah? And I'm with, I'm with my mates, Brad, uh, Shane. And I'm like... That's a white name. I'm like, no. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael. No. <laughs> Gee, if I get if I get cut from this board, <laughs> Braddy, Shane's up, Shane us, oh Shane us, eh? Brad, Brad, Brad us, Brad us, Brad us. No, no, no. Um, what's his name? They have a gaming area in Lollapalooza, massive festival, G. Oh, oh. Massive. Yeah, They're yeah. like multiple stages. Anywho, Sucks. Ninja walks past. I was like, any Fortnite player knows that dude's got spiky blue hair. Yeah, I'm yeah. chilling in our green room. Old man walks past. I was like, Judas Ninja. And they're like, who's that, Joey? Who's that, Joey? <laughs> I need some young friends. Oh, <laughs> Gee, that's Ninja. They're like, where? <laughs> I bet you, you if I go, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> you old bastards. <laughs> you old bastards. <laughs> You're done, Gee. You're done, oh, no. Gee. Yeah, so what? You, you walk past? You walk past? Sana, he walked past. I swear to God, this like keep in mind. I don't know about you, but I was like the biggest Fortnite dude. I was like, Gia, I'm mm. keen. Yeah, yeah. This dude walks past. I ran. I was like, Ninja. He looks at me. He's like, Yeah. I was like, Can I get a photo? He's like, Yeah, let's do it. Comes, bro. He takes a photo. I grab the photo. Send it to all my boys, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're like, That's photoshopped. Oh, <laughs> see, they didn't believe me, bro. I was like, yeah. I swear to God, that's mm. Ninja G. They're, They're more like, Nah. That than the stage. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beyonce, yeah. oh, ninja. Ninja. <laughs> teach us to do 90s. <laughs> Give me some V-Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's oh. mad. That's mad. What, what was, what's the best festival you've ever done? Mm. Or what's the best festival you've done like without music? You've gone to without music 
fuck, bro. Say, in saying that, <laughs> in what saying do you mean? That, like, have you gone to prom- uh, Tomorrowland yet? Surely you have. The best festival I've been to was like three, ve- three weeks ago. Rolling Loud. Oh, Chris yeah. Brown. I'm the oh, biggest yeah, Chris yeah. Brown fan, bro. G. I oh, swear. Yeah, you look like him, bro. <laughs> oh, no, this is like yeah, that's a compliment, Kyle. <laughs> Please <laughs> don't judge me, <laughs> and I won't judge you. <laughs> yeah, you went, you went, bro. This guy's. Do you post bro, any stories? You didn't post any stories. His stories, Joe. Yeah, you did. Oh, Holy bro. shit, bro. Oh, I went. I swear to God, biggest Chris Brown fan, bro. Biggest. Mm. Like he is the king of pop. I don't care if anyone wants to debate, G, DM me, docs, and we can go Ooh. song for song, yeah? Ooh. I swear to God, it's king or pop of our era, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, number one trendsetter, yeah? He could wear a highlighted beanie. <laughs> uh, half of the world will wear a highlighted beanie. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. Me? Hard, hard. But with him, I think he wears um, himself pretty good mm. at the point where, like, anything he does, whether it's creating music, um, dancing, yeah. um, acting, like you can't think twice. It's like, oh, that's Chris Brown. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like what? What singer, rapper, artist? You know that could portray that. He's proper mm. good today. You know what I mean? He's like, don't worry, I'll wait. Crickets. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hard, hard, Telling yeah. you, bro. Like when I seen, it, I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hard. And my wife was touching me. I was like, Jake, get away. <laughs> <laughs> I want to marry him. Look at me. I want to dance. I want to lap dance. Cut that out. Oh. 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 <laughs> nah, really, really, really. Yeah, really. You, since you said that, I believe the same. Jalen reckons otherwise. He reckons Drake is. Huh? <laughs> I, I asked Jalen. No, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah he, he reckons Drake is. Gee, the moment Drake does a backflip, then we can talk, G. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. No, come on now. That's not fair on. just because it's him. Why do you like Drake? Let me what, ask you what? one question. That's the first question I asked the whole. Wait, no, shut up. I'll tell you, I've been saying this question for years. Like him and one of the other boys. Bro, Chris Brown over Drake? Nah. Nah. Drake, Drake, Drake. Why? Why? Hmm? Just one. Just one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's buckled. It's buckled, bro. Oh, come on, now. One, just one, one, one. Like, I grew up. So I grew up listening to Drake. To oh, 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 oh. so I grew up listening to Drake the same way you grew up to li- listening to Chris Brown. Mm. So for me, it's just a. I grew up listening to that. I understand that Chris Brown was there, but for me, growing up listening to all his albums, bro, Drake's yeah. my go, bro. Drake's my yeah. go. What about you? Properly, no. Oh. What Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> mine's not. Nah, mine's mine's Usher. Above for the waist, G. Above the waist. <laughs> mine's Usher. Mine's gotta be oh, Usher. Oh, Usher's tough. Fuck! I've never heard you talk about Usher, bro. <laughs> Well, you just asked me a question. I'm just saying it now. Oh. What are you on about? Don't oh. try and do this. <laughs> <laughs> no. You ask me a question. I'm asking. You. Come on now. Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with you. No, so I'm bringing it to more recent times now. How's working with you, so bro? Oh, the fucking go, yeah. <laughs> You better leave this in the potty. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, like you guys always hear us talking about Yisa, bro. But he's worked with all these people, Mm. bro. Like for, you know, we've heard about TG. He elevated his business game. Mm. For us, he elevated us in the business and content. Mm. Content Content-wise. How do you you guys sharpen each other? Man, with Yisa, I met him through one of my good mates, Piwish. Mm. Shout, shout out to Squish. Paula, Ovato Matogo. I met him through Paula because me and Paula used to hang out heaps during COVID, yeah? Mm-hmm. And um, Paula was telling me for ages when I was making music. There were certain things I couldn't get around mechanically on, on the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'll get picked up from Yesa from my house. I didn't even <laughs> know Yesa was picking him up. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I want to go to this guy Yesa. And in my mind, I was like, who's this guy Yesa? Yeah. He goes, bro, he does music, man. Like, you should link up with him. In my mind, I was like, nah, G. <laughs> Surely he, he can't do what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. But then we end up meeting up. I swear to God, the most down to earth, humblest dude mm. I've ever met in my life. Yeah. Yeah. When I was dropping content at the time, like I, I had a vision for my content to the point where I couldn't really portray it. Yeah, yeah. I met this guy. I'm like, yes, sir. Um, so, so where did you learn? Because you know, you, you want to suss out like, oh, who yeah, you're working yeah, with, yeah? yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, where did you learn how to um, edit programs? He's like, in Tonga. <laughs> and mama, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's going to be yellow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck, what? Oh, what's the, what's the editor on? Windows 99. 
<laughs> He's crazy. Nah, Every tongue like, and hey. I'm following right now. No, 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 no. I'm being, I'm being honest. You can nah. even ask him. Yeah. In my mind, like straight away, I judge them straight yeah. away. Yeah. Because you know the resources in Tonga, we don't have yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Hundred. So, so like I was like him coming up to me. He's like, yeah, I can do it. And I'm like, yeah. We did one session, bro. I swear to God, we recorded three videos. And in my mind, I was thinking, fuck, this is probably going to give me the videos, what, next year or something, eh? Mm, yeah, yeah. And he goes, 12 o'clock midnight, he goes, Togo, check your message out. I was like, like done, bro, yeah. Yes, that's the, the videos we just done, like two hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do another one tomorrow. And I was like, holy yeah, shit. Bro. Yeah, bro. And then not just that, the quality. Mm. And then like, for him, he was like, what do you want? Mm. And I'm like, in my mind, I was like, fuck, if I explain what I want, yeah. it sounds over the top, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. oh. Because I already dropped the videos. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, the only thing I did, I was in a room with my little brother Dev. I chucked two mattresses up, yeah. mm. and I went to Kmart, got like a queen size bed sheet, and just blacked it out. Mm. So a lot of the people oh, that's yeah. been watching me for the last five six years that thinks I'm in a studio, I was in a room yeah, with yeah. two like mattresses <laughs> yeah, and like <laughs> Kmart yeah. black sheets, gotcha. bro. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Oh, what studio?" At? I was like, "Gee, I'm in the Sony studio." <laughs> <laughs> Sony Studio <laughs> and Logan, that's bro. <laughs> that's, bro, that's, that, that's that's crazy, and that sort of just shows how you can make the most of your situation. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, man. We were, well, we, me and Swanee were talking about earlier in the week, talking about how everyone sort of waits for the best option. You mm. know what I mean? How it's like, yeah. oh, I can't do it until I've got the best yeah, studio, until, the yeah, best cameras. 100, 100. And we're talking about how it's good to do the next best thing. So for you, you know, using the mattresses because you couldn't get the studio That's and mad. stuff. Yeah, yeah. The bro, for yeah exactly, man. That just sort of shows Thanks, your bro. entrepreneurship yeah, and yeah. stuff mm. like that. Hard, bro. Bro. But yep. not just that, it's like, when I showed it to him, <laughs> like, it was really hard for me to believe him. Like, he's like, oh, I'll make it look better. Mm. I'm like, mm. you don't make it look better? Well, Windows 99? No, 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 that's enough, Windows 99. No, 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 but then I met up with him, I swear to God, I say this with my chest, my, my, my TikTok career, I swear to God, with the social media stuff yeah. that popped off, I didn't use TikTok until I met him. Yeah. Mm. And then he goes, oh, Togo, I, I, I can make it look cinematic. Yeah. And I was like- Why are you talking like that, bro? Because <laughs> I swear to God, because that's what that's how the, the, the videos are of, portrayed. Yeah. That's what mm. it's called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, like, you, you were like, oh, Togo, I can make it cinematic. Because that's how, that's how he said it. I'm trying to sound like yes, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> Anywho, he's like, I can make it cinematic. And I was like, Fuck, it really looks cinematic. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got my came up, bed sheets, everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all good. Yeah. I'm all good. I dropped the first video. I, I could you not. I didn't have that much followers on TikTok. I didn't even know how to use it. Yeah, mm. yeah. And it, this is like, do you know how to use TikTok? I was like, no, no, no. We'll just like do free videos. I drop one and then like, yeah, all good. So now I drop one video on TikTok just with him compared to all my mm. 20 videos. Mm. That one video blew up within like two hours, bro. Yeah, and then right. I woke up the next morning. I was like, 100K followers. I was like, what the fuck? Freak. 100k in one Yeah, night. 100k, bro. I, I swear to God, 12 hours. And one night. And that <laughs> one video, and then I, I, I was like, so now you free for the whole year. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Are you free for the whole year? <laughs> <laughs> that was just off one. And then yeah, we, yeah. me and him, me and him, were just working together. I was like, Tox, I got a vision. I was like, can we do this? And he was like, yeah, yeah. He, he, he literally like, I swear to God, I've helped, he's helped me so much with a lot of my content. He's yeah. taken it to the next yeah, level yeah. Mm. in terms of um, having a vision. Mm. Cause the thing about Yesa, he he he's he's a he's a tool to the point where if you don't utilize him very yeah. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, he will only produce what you want. What you want yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. But it's a good thing. Mm. You know, he won't go far and beyond because just in case he might step on toes or just in case <laughs> you guys might not like it. Yeah. But for me, because I knew the capability and I knew I was like, fuck, this dude can do some crazy yeah, shit. Mm. I was like, Togo, can we do this? He's like, yeah. yo. Yeah. And then on top of that, it's turn over time shits on crazy, like bro. a lot yeah. of Facts, videographers. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it just to like get off my knees, yeah, but yeah. I'm just being I'm just being straight up yeah, as no, a brother. No, 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 no. So like yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Over to my dog. Yeah, nah. word, yeah. Word, hey, word, big word, shout out bro. to to yeah. Lisa, bro. Massive like, I'm telling you, that's my now, guy, bro. Like what what Joe's saying, we can vouch for that too, bro. Because uh, uh, one time, of our man. love, luck, all love to our our, our past, our previous, you know, yeah, previous, yeah, our previous uh, like um, you guys even um, said it as well. You you guys seen the the, the, the upgrade in in like the visuals, the sound, mm. bro. And I'm saying, if you guys ever need something like that, hit you up, bro. Trajan Studios, Trajan Studios, is the place, bro. They do right, everything, right. man. 100, 100, everything, bro. Right. Yeah, this, like, this Trajan Studios. This is where Jay does his TikToks as well. So. Everything, man. Yeah. Big shout out, man. Yeah, but fuck, so man. Who do you think was your biggest artist or biggest person that you've worked alongside with? As in like Australia? Like as in for yourself. Like um, who did you who did you link up with and then you were like, 
Or, no, or I can't believe it. Cracked it. I can't believe it. Feeds, bro. Yeah, like, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put him on a pedestal because I grew up listening to him, you know? Mm. And it hits different. Like, it's me. If I had to ask the same question to you yeah. and you guys got the same opportunity, I swear to God, you guys would probably lose your shits. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like I if, can't if, wait to meet him, man. Yeah, oh, day, he's, bro. Not, bro, he's day, one man. of the pioneers within the Polynesian yeah. out, industry. And just as, as a person, bro, he's, he's a good dude, man. Good I swear dude. to God. Yeah, like, he's helped me a lot. Mm. In, in like, outside of the Polynesian culture, who do you think was your biggest help within finding your feet in the music, um, music industry? Would be have to, I would have to say with my chest would be Amy, Amy Shark. Shark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in that sense, because she, she was the only one they gave me an opportunity, opportunity at the time yeah. when a lot of people looked at me and like, this guy overplays. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, this dude thinks he's too good. But I was just a y- young kid yeah. that loved to play drums. I mm. kn- like my intentions was just to play. Yeah, yeah. Like if a lot of them looked at me because I did too much chops, it's just because I was excited. You yeah, know, yeah. I imagine I'm like young 21 year old yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, oh no, he drinks too much. Yeah. I'm like, bro, like encourage him. Did, like, yeah. did she pick you up when you were 21? Yeah, 22, Holy 22. Holy fuck, yeah. bro, that's nuts. How old are you now? 30. Damn! <laughs> I fall for that, bro. We've seen Minus it. two. <laughs> We've all uh, seen it. He got him. He got him. Yeah. See, I hate him. I hate him. I finally got someone. I finally got someone. No, but, but you look older than me, Ty. Oh, fuck. Below the belt. Oh, sorry, 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 above sorry, sorry. the belt. Come on. Above the waist. Above the waist. Bro, wait, imagine that. 22. What were, we, what were we doing at 22? Bro, I was a little junkie oh, dog, bro. <laughs> we're just partying oh, here, bro. Bro, talk to us about the 4 a.m. group that you've created, man. That's... Yeah. That's bro. I That's love sick that to see, bro, because you can see that all of you guys all have the same love and the same passion for the music, bro. Mm. And you can see it in the work rate that you guys have, bro. Yeah, I can't. I can't really take all the credit for that, bro. Mm. Uh, shout out to my boy Maz, bro. I swear mm. to God. Yeah, man. yeah. Maserati, that's that's one of bro, my closest also, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Word, yeah. Word. Word. See you soon, bro. also. See you soon, Probably. bro. So myself and Maz at the time. This was like, like I said, like early 2018. Mm-hmm. And and this was when I was still like gigging like crazy, like three months on the road, come back and for like two weeks. I teed up with him and I was like, man, let's try do some music. Mm. It was like, sweet. We started a group called 4AM, me and Maz. Why 4AM? I was just about to answer that question. Yeah. Um, Sorry, bro. <laughs> the, the meaning behind it is um, 95% of the millionaires wake up at 4AM we used it more as a motive to motivate us yeah. rather than like being a mindset of grind. Because obviously I ain't waking up at 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Gee, I'm busy. I'll double tap the screen. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. On the real, on the real. Like, like I said, 95% millionaires wake up at 4 a.m. It was literally a mindset thing just to like encourage us. Oh, sweet, we got to stay grindy, man. Yeah. So 4 a.m. In, in a nutshell represents grind. Mm. So myself and Maz, boom, 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 did that. And then we took it upon ourselves and jumped it onto an app. Hence, when um, uh, my brother um, Maxwell jumped on board. You guys know Andy? Shout yeah, out yeah, Maxwell, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my also Max, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we jumped and created an agency with it and got a lot of <laughs> like minded people. Yeah. So we try to create a network within a network. Oh, that's yeah. mad. You know what, what I mean? So rather mad, than yeah. like paying uh, TikTok or Instagram or Facebook for the ads. Mm. To promote it, I was like, man, we create a network system, people that's like-minded to to share, comment, like, post. Mm. So, for example, <clears throat> we get people like you yeah. and other people that's that's within the same industry that have a similar mindset. We've literally created a, a network base mm. where we can promote whatever we wanted mm. yeah. rather yeah, than yeah. rely on some automated robot yeah, yeah. to share a story. That's cool. So that's that's, cool. that's that's where the mini four AM comes, and yeah. I, I I highly like stand firm with that because yeah, you yeah. know you gotta have that four AM mindset to to be in the industry. This is, especially yeah. this industry, the industry you guys are in right yeah. now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah, that's the meaning behind four AM. Yeah, that, bro. bro, I love that, man. Oh, that's fucking cool because like, it, it, like from the short time that we've known each other, fuck, yeah, you're a smart cunt, bro. <laughs> you're a proper showed, smart bro, cunt, this bro. This guy showed me like how to properly yeah, work yeah. your ass off. Yeah, and, yeah. Like in a different way, only, yeah. Not only like the video clips and that, but even joining his lives, yeah, even yeah. like walking into the studio and this guy's here on the bloody yeah, yeah. on the computer working yeah. his ass. I was like, Hi, bro. where did you? Where do you think your grind or like your work ethic come come mm, from? Mm. I think it's just from my parents, man. Like, yeah. my parents worked a lot in the uh, in society. Like, for example, I never slept on a bed till I moved to New Zealand or to Australia. 
at first, I swear to God, 2016, mm. I was like, oh shit, I'm in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I slept in the garage like my whole life mm-hmm. with a bunch of boys that my mum and dad like chose to look after from the yeah, streets. It's yeah, yeah. cool, bro. You know, so they got cool. a they got a heart for the ministry, especially mm. within the youth. Yeah. Mm. And growing up in that environment, I've picked up a lot of traits on it. Yeah. So from the littlest things, I remember being on tour. I'm like, you know, in our culture, one eats, we all eat. Yeah. yeah. So if I go to a bar, grab a drink, and these twenty dudes just yeah. sitting there, I wouldn't come back with one. Yeah. yeah. Like you know. If I did that in front of my dad, I'd probably have no teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. if, if I had to <clears throat> go get a feed or I don't know, those littlest, subtlest things, yeah. I would always make sure my surroundings, everyone, had everyone something. has yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Cool, so bro. within that Balangi culture, mm. they picked up pretty fast yeah. to the right. point where they years later, yeah, they learned from me. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. And then they're yeah. like, oh, Joey, why do you do that? I was like, oh, you know, I grew up with nothing, you know? And um, there's a there's a saying that I'll, I'll always take with me, mm. and I've got it tattered on my on my chest. It's like we may not have it together, but together we have it all. As me and Vicky, my brothers got that tat. You know, no, I grew up with nothing, on, yeah. so I'm massive. It means like yeah. you know I don't have much. Yeah. So being with other people like yourselves, whether we're out or not doing anything, I'll make sure I got something to contribute, whether it's food or my time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But that, that's, where I, that's where my grind comes yeah. from. It's from my parents. That's proper, nice, bro. Yeah. You that's know? so that's cool. Proper, that's, a, that's, a, that's a infectious vibe that you have, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Very. Especially coming into an industry like what we've come into, mm. there's only like a handful of people that we can pick out. And, you, you know, you're one of them. You know what I mean? I genuine vibe. Genuine, genuine, genuine. And I, not so genuine. It's like, it's a real vibe. You know what I mean? You can tell who's real and who's not. You know what I mean? And from the moment that we've met, like, uh, even being in your presence till this day, we're still buzzing out that, you know, we're, we're you know, kicking feet with this guy, you know. We're right? rubbing shoulders. Yeah, with man. Bro, so, fuck, I want to say just a massive thank you for even taking time to come up yeah. on here, bro. But, like, um, I just want to see everyone win, bro. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. us, bro. That's but, us, bro. Hey, for real, man. For real. Hey, chat, we, we, hey, chat. chat. <laughs> Someone come grab him. <laughs> Man, you thought we forgot, nah, bro. No, 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 wait. It's come good, on, bro. Good. Usually we got Bender bars. Hey. But we, hey, today we got a drummer. So welcome to the new segment, Bender Beats. Bender Beats, beat your meat. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Joe, do your thing. <laughs>